Good morning. This is Thursday, August the 12th, 2021. Reading from My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald and Biddy Chambers. I love this title. The Theology of Rest. Matthew eight twenty six. Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Jesus had gone to sleep in the boat, and a storm came up, and the disciples woke him up. When we are in fear, we can do nothing less than pray to God. But our Lord has a right to expect that those who name his name should have an understanding confidence in him. God expects his children to be so confident in him that in any crisis they are the reliable ones. Our trust is in God to a certain point. Then we go back to the elementary panic prayers of those who do not know God. We get to our wit's end, showing that we have not the slightest confidence in him and his government of the world. He seems to be asleep and we see nothing but breakers ahead. O oh, ye of little faith! What a pang must have shot through the disciples, missed it again. And what a pang will go through us when we suddenly realize that we might have produced downright joy in the heart of Jesus by remaining absolutely confident in him, no matter what was ahead. There are stages in life when there is no storm, no crisis. When we do our human best, it is when a crisis arises that we instantly reveal upon whom we rely. If we have been learning to worship God and to trust him, the crisis will reveal that we will go to the breaking point and not break in our confidence in him. We have been talking a great deal about sanctification. What is it all going to amount to? It should work out and to rest in God, which means oneness with God, a oneness which will make us not only blameless in his sight, but a deep joy to him. This comes at a time that uh, was uh, right after yesterday's experience with a uh, one of my favorite patients, all my patients are favorites, uh, but a sweet lady in her mid to late 80s. And uh, we always conclude the visit with a verse of, of a hymn. She knows them all. Her church doesn't sing hymns anymore, and it, it it's sad for her. And... Uh, uh, she'll call her friends up and they'll sing hymns to each other. But she went to the emergency room the other night in the middle of the night. She had a condition that uh, we don't know what causes it. We, I, who knows? But uh, if she takes some medicine quickly, it'll it's an abdominal pain. It'll go away. And she thought she'd got ahead of it, but Man, she woke up two o'clock throwing up bile and, and the whole thing, and she lives alone. She didn't panic. She called a friend who was up. She says it was about four in the morning. 
She said, I called her because I know she'll be praying at this time. And they decided to call 911 and the paramedics came and they took her to the hospital and uh, it resolved. And she's telling me this experience and then she says, Dr. Trimble, I am just so grateful that when that happened to me, it made me call on the Lord and pray. I felt closer to God. <laughs> it, just, it just blew me away. And I'm thinking one of uh, Oswald's uh, scriptures, filling up that which is behind the afflictions of Christ. What you're going through is not necessarily for you. She blessed me. <laughs> the reality of our risen Savior coming from this saint blessed me. And so uh, the song, the hymn that came to me, and she joined in. I can hear her sing. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free <laughs> father teach us how to be one with you to be in christ to have christ in us father let us honor your name you're a good good father and when it seems that we're being given a stone Instead of bread today, when we're given a serpent instead of a fish, that you're still a good, good father. And give, let us be thankful for whatever we go through today. And let us proclaim the name of Jesus in our attitude. Let us be kind. Father, you're going to bring across people to to each one of us that needs to be loved in the special way that only we can love them because you're in us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen.